so I got a bit of a surprise in the mail today. I mean, it's not really a surprise at all considering I ordered it yesterday. Well, two nights ago. Yeah, two nights ago. Even though I picked the one day shipping, but it was so late that when I ordered it, it obviously had to show up a day later because they had to give it time to ship. Seriously, the coolest freaking thing I've ever bought for my camera because it's the only thing I've bought for it so far. But what I got. The Gorillapod Hybrid. Now I've been wanting one of these even before I had a camera, but I just now decided to get it because I'm gonna be going to Mexico within two weeks, I think, from today. <laughs> Something on the lens. But anyway, I've seen so much about these. These have been out since like, what, 2011, I think. And I just now saw them like this, this year, I think, because I haven't normally been into cameras, so. It's pretty cool so far, I mean, it wraps around basically anything. I got about a 10 inch one. Oh, how cool is that? Literally hanging upside down right now. Okay, okay. I can dig it. 10 inch Gorilla Pod, and I think there's some that are smaller than that, maybe like six inches or so, or like really, really thin ones. And I've watched a bunch of videos on those, and a lot of people don't like those because they're too thin and they don't carry cameras very well. But the one I got is the hybrid, and it was $34, I think, base price, and I paid four extra dollars to get it sent with one, uh, one day shipping, so it was around $38 on Amazon. And so, so far, I like it a lot. It's got this level on it, this green level. Oh, sweet. It even came with a little level thing on here. Most of them don't. I think that's like $5 normally to add on that. And I think that's not something that normally comes with a Gorilla Pod. And it might have just came with this one because... Yeah, I don't even think it's... It shows that it came with this. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, well, it did, came, it did come with the Gorilla Pod Hybrid. Hybrid. This is not the original Gorilla Pod. And this one's the 10 inch one, like I said earlier. And it says that it holds up to a max of one kilogram, which is 2.2 pounds. And most cameras, like point and shoot, like the one I have, aren't 2.2 pounds or even close to that. They're all normally a pound or under, depending on like lens attachments and stuff like that. But I don't have any, so mine's literally like point six ounces, eight ounces maybe. I don't know why I said point. It's yeah, it's like eight ounces and it holds perfectly fine as far as I've seen. It's very sturdy. Obviously look like I can shake it right now and it doesn't even really move around. It's got these rubber tips on it so it keeps it from sliding around or falling down. And all these legs are bendable if you haven't seen a gorilla pod before. I'll probably take this camera off because it's got a release. Yeah, I'll just do it right now actually. Take it off. It's got a quick release thing on it, so Basically, this is what it looks like. Oh shoot, this clip's not letting my camera close. But anyway, yeah, this is what it looks like. 10 inches. This is my hand, my hand's not very big. But yeah, it's picking up on the face. It's pretty cool. See, it's got this level on it, so you know if you're taking pictures how level it is. And obviously it's not very level right now. And it also has this knob on it that lets you move it up and down you know, forward and backwards to get different angles and stuff like that. And since the legs bend, you can hook them onto all sorts of things, something like that. Not bad. This thing's a lot cooler than I thought it would be. Oh, that's freaking sweet. Uh, I have this pipe up here I could hang it on if I really wanted to. And it just allows you for, to do a lot more than you would normally be able to do without it. So obviously it's a good investment for a camera cheap tripod for the most part. I think the cheapest one you can buy is $20 and it's just one of the small ones, but I wanted to make a good investment on it. I mean, I figure if I have this nice camera, I don't want to put it in danger or anything. But yeah, so far I'm really liking it. I haven't taken it anywhere, obviously, because I just got it today, but definitely looking forward to using this and making more videos with it. 
something I can hit, put up in the gym so I don't have to like set my camera down on the ground and have terrible angles. I mean, it's obviously not that tall, but it's better than just sitting on the ground and it's a lot more sturdy and I can make it face a lot of different directions and all that fun stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back because it's so fun. See, it bends. Very sturdy, doesn't move at all. Be great for taking pictures or like time lapsing something. And so, yeah, I'll definitely make more videos with in the future. But this is just a quick video showing that I got this and it's something I'll be using from now on. And I might make another video on it once I find some stuff to really like put it on or get more like videos showing what it can do or what it's capable of. So that can help back this video up a little bit. But basically, this is just obviously, like I said, just showing what it's like and the one that I got and my first impressions of it. So if you enjoyed or you're thinking of getting it, I, I can probably leave a link down in the description if you want to get the Gorillapod Hybrid. It's just good for point and shoot cameras. I obviously wouldn't recommend it for bigger cameras like the DSLR ones. You can get one of those Gorilla Pods are a little bit bigger than this one and they hold heavier cameras, but since my camera's not that heavy I might as well just get a smaller one obviously and it'll work perfectly fine for when I go to Mexico or anything like that So Thanks for watching if you liked it go ahead and subscribe even if you didn't like it subscribe anyway because why not? I'm begging you, but you don't have to you can do whatever you want if you just stumbled on this video Just leave it a like or something. Let me know that you saw it because obviously not a lot of people aren't gonna see it probably but other than that, that should be it. I'm really happy with it so far for the last 20 minutes that I've been playing with it, just about. Um, that's it, so. Seriously, the coolest thing ever. So here you go. Here's a good view of what's going on right here. Wow! Gorilla Pod. I feel like I'm gonna use this to take all sorts of pictures, if you know what I mean. We're in for a lot, but basically, that there is the Gorillapod Hybrid. And so far, it's pretty exciting. I just gotta figure out how to work these socket things and make them straighten out a little bit easier. But yeah, that's, that's all for this video, I think, for the most part. Other than that, I'm going to look forward to using this in the future. Hopefully I don't get too many weird looks from people walking around judging me. It's basically already happened like six times already, and I don't, even, I didn't even have this thing at that point. All right, well, that's it for the video. So I don't even really need to learn to look right here. Like, I just want to look at myself up here, but pretty much just rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. So if you liked it, do whatever you want, okay? Just subscribe. Or I'll kill you.